Hi guys, welcome to Lobster Tales. Welcome to Lobster Tales. It is 3.40 in the morning. Like and subscribe. We are waiting for a couple of friends, Matt and Carrie, to start our adventure. I want to kiss you. What? It's 3.40 in the morning. Exactly. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> All right, well, stay tuned. What is our next stop? Uh, Fort Pierce. We're going to have breakfast there. Uh, so that's about a two-hour drive north. And we'll be ready to get off the bike by then. Yep. So we'll see you then. Can I kiss you now? Yeah. Hmm. What are we naming Julio's hair?
we are number 206. This is a gas station. This is a gas station. Oh my god. Food and everything. This is like the craziest place ever. And this is a small Bucky's. Most of the Bucky's are like five times this big. This is nuts. Yeah. It's like a Walmart. This is the wall of what? Beef jerky. Ghost pepper. Is that the one you want? Yeah. It's the one that Anthony wants. What? What are you getting? What do you got in my wife? What do you got there? You know, we're still heading north, not that. We can't buy nothing. Nothing fits. You think this will fit in my bike? I think so. I need a little one. Thing is, I like it, but we can't take it. That's good. So we just got out of Bucky's. Wow, never been here before. It's huge. It's a big place. 200 pumps. It's like a Walmart inside. More than 200. I think there's 250. Lots of food. It's like a Walmart. It was pretty cool, but we can't take anything because our bikes are pretty much packed. Yeah, well, we we're trying to pick out big ass signs, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so our next stop is destination to Daytona. We're gonna go to JMP Cycle. Are we in Daytona and, already? Yeah, we're in Daytona. We're only like eight miles away from there, so we're gonna. Whoa. Oh my god, look at that beaver over there. Oh. I'm gonna go touch that beaver. the house, like our house. But I couldn't ride that. Didn't a guy ask about your bike? Yeah, he wanted to buy my bike because the white is apparently rare, which I already knew.
We made it to Georgia, people. We made it to Georgia. Finally. It took us a long time. Yeah, but we stopped. It's at 1.45. Oh. Well, who are those people back there? Are you videoing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought you were taking a picture. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the story. <laughs> Okay, so I just took a shower. I'm not gonna talk about my hair, but no lie. Those people that believe in certain things, this was on the floor. It's a penny, 100%, not lying. You could ask Joe. I go, look what's on the floor. So for those people that know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna take it as a good sign. Alright, so this is coming out of our room. Wait, show them the I'll show everything. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Supposedly, the elevator is broken. You can't tell here, but it's slanted, but I'll give you an idea what I'm talking about. Look at the gap. Everything is slanted. It's crazy, but it's cool. Because again, we like the history. Okay, it's not a big room. And that's 18, 1890. Our view, no big deal. There's a parking garage. Oops, wrong way. Okay, but that's the wall for 414, which is right next door. I do have to say that after we took a shower, I walked yeah. out into the hallway and I swear to God, I'm not lying, I smell a burning smell. It wasn't rotten flesh like they say. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't smell it. She didn't. And she's standing right next to me. Yeah. And I said, and I'm like, I can smell it. And she couldn't. No. It smelled like kind of like, you know, when you kick on a heater and um, that first smell when the heater comes on, uh, that's kind of what it smelled like. But it wasn't so strong. It was weird. It was just weird that I caught that right off I the will bat. read that to you guys because I read before coming. I mean, a month ago I was reading about where are we gonna stay and oh my god it's haunted but i'll read that part to you so supposedly that's what he smelled we're trying to be as honest and as truthful if we see nothing and hear nothing i will tell you and just so our fans know tonight i'm not sleeping next to my wife i'm gonna sleep inside no, my wife no. <laughs> No, I <laughs> called it first. No, you get to sleep on top. No, he's sleeping closer to the door, so <laughs> he gets killed first. <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned. Yep. According to some accounts, the uppermost floor, the fourth floor of the hotel, was the preferred area for amputations since it was the furthest from the street level and people passing by below wouldn't hear the screams of injured patients. 
Since so many gruesome events reportedly occurred on that floor, it has the most haunted reputation. Guests have pegged room 414 as one of the most haunted rooms in the entire hotel. When the hotel was being renovated in the late 90s, the staff claimed there were terrible odors emanating from rooms 214, 314, and 414. The smells were so, in quotations, evil, reportedly like rotting flesh, that they resorted to group prayer and blasting round-the-clock gospel music in those rooms to help eliminate the odor. Oh no, that's a no. Oh no, that's a no, 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 no. The Marsha House is one of Savannah's most historic hotels and oldest hotels uh, owned by Mary Marshall and it opened in 1851. The Marshall House's history is very conductive to ghost stories. Since opening in 1851, the hotel has been used as a hospital three times, once by the Union Army during the Civil War and twice for yellow fever epidemics during the 19th century. Why, thank you. You're welcome. The perks of the Marshall House. What's that fucking dog? Well, she needs a glass of wine. I guess I'll have to have a glass of wine. <laughs> well, she has a glass of wine. I need to have right a glass here. He was wearing his new shirt. Can you tell? Can you tell? It? What size? <laughs> Extra large. We made it! Yeah, finally! Ready, set, go. Top. What happened? <laughs> 
Goes he slowly. came out saying it wouldn't stay up. You go really slow with it. It did line. stay up. Another it shrunk side. really it's small. <laughs> you ready? We're all gonna see. This is this is my third wife. Like that's just so wait. Who's your second? Animati. And you're my first. Yay! My sister wife. My dad would like Savannah. We've seen a drag queen. And I, that's all we've seen. <laughs> Bunch of 40 and 50 year old powder in the third. Listen, we haven't been out of the house for a long time. Right, let's go. Get the this is what happened. Women to the left of me. Women to the right. Turn around and get mad. Go mad! I want it, man. Oh God! Lock up your daughter. Lock up your wife. Not a believer. Uh, Jill, Tori. Good night, guys. All right, guys. Good night. Jill's lost. Okay, Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> uh, we're the ones with the road that's next to. Okay. Let's see what happens tonight. <laughs> An apparition. <laughs> Or do you have it? Okay, we'll be back. Alright, so I don't even have my face on. I took a shower. We changed. It's 11 30. We're tired. We're tired, but we're gonna walk the hallways.
so this is our room. Except for that smell early on. I'm not going in there. Oh no. Okay. Okay, so this is where a lady locks you in here. I'm not doing that. Turn the lights? I'm not doing that. 